Well, I know I said I was going to try some of the optional bosses next time I did a recording. But, um, I can't take the bee yet. I guess I can try and see if I can take the plant. Um, I was trying on the bee earlier and it hits me for almost my entire health bar, actually. So if I want to take it, I'm going to have to basically grind a lot of money out on the slimes. Which would require patience. Lots of it. Um, which is not something I have if I'm going to get an episode up today. Um, so... Um, I think I'll return the mirror piece and then see if I can't do some level grinding over with the plants to maybe push myself up to the next level. Basically, yeah, I'm going to try and just overwhelm the boss through sheer overwhelming force. Um, it's a viable tactic as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's not the plants I were talking about. Um, just get them done. Oh yeah, here I tell the face that's gonna hit or hurt me. Duh. Wonder if he's carrying vitality seeds yet, so is it even a viable strategy to try and maybe up my HP enough to like maybe I can just start surviving on my own here. Um to find out. Um has been repaired. But to tell you the truth, there really isn't anything I need to do in Remorge. I guess I'll just take it easy over here. Do you have Vitali seeds yet? Um, there it is. Not enough gold, so they're more expensive than they were last time. How much are they? 80,000? Jeez. They upped the price by four times. Dang. Looks like any more effective than it was before. My elder brother Kuval returned, but he left right away. I'm happy that he's so trusted, but honestly, it's a little lonely. The three of us used to often play together, you know. I kept asking my brother to let me visit the Aresian settlement, but he kept refusing. Oh, darn it. Honestly, how long is he planning to hide from us? Ryug, I swear I won't forgive you if you don't come out. <laughs> my older sister's getting mad. I think she's going to start looking over here soon. I better find another spot while she's looking over there. It's not even a good hiding spot. You think you should be able to see the top of his head at least. Um. Oh yeah, I should talk to Kowal because I knew he was in remorse. Um. I can wait. Um. Um. Ah, uh, Adol. Good of you to come. We have finally managed to ditch the suspension bridge to Kanan. This matter was left to Kubal, who has shown brilliant leadership while negotiating with the Eresians. If something were to happen to me, I have no qualms about entrusting him to lead our people. Unfortunately, both Olha and Isha happen to be out right now. I think they will be back soon, but in the meantime, please, make yourself comfortable. Unfortunately, I think they will be... Yeah, could you tell me where they went? I know Isha's in the human settlement, so I could go see her if I want to right now real quick, but I'm pretty sure I can return this mirror fragment. Um, hmm. You 
Parisians that came over to repair the bridge were more decent than I thought they'd be. But I'm still keeping my eyes on Okay, them. racist. Hmm. The reasons that... But I... Isha's been looking pretty happy lately. I wonder if something good happened. I survived. What? Adolf, all has set out for Windseeker Heights. If you want to see her, you should probably wait until she gets back. I think even you would have a tough time with the monsters there. I might. And again, I'm gonna have a hard time with the monsters in the cave too, so. I can't kill some of the later ones, and they're the ones that are going to hit the hardest. And my evasive skills are not what they're cracked up to be, okay? But yeah, the real troll songs are going to be behind this, um, bar here. Um... that blackbird wasn't there, I'd probably stick around a bit longer, because that thing steals your stuff. And quite frankly, I'm too poor to afford losing my money right now, so... Um, let's see, um, this is of mixed value right now, um, I won't really protect against both. these monsters. Crap. I don't know if that means I'll be a match for the, um, plant master or not, though. Um, What 
you see in front of you is the island of ruins, the Zen Sanctum. Beyond that, you can see the rocky peaks of Grenon Thalys. Though the area beyond the shore is closed off by the vortex, the harbor always enjoys good weather. It must be all in this doing. She must be protecting the sanctum. I intend to stay here for a while so I can practice my feet. Seattle, please be careful. My goodness! Thank you, Serato. I am not a priestess. Without this man, I feel so helpless. I would not be able to prevail without her. <laughs> if Mother saw me, she would laugh. I am sorry for saying such strange things. Serato, please allow me to show my appreciation. Sweet. Thank you so very much. May you be blessed with all this kindness. Come to think of it, Isha was not in the village, was she? The truth is... I'm sorry, I will not say it after all. It seems she wants to surprise you. With the Reva and Erasians working together, the suspension bridge has finally been fixed. Not only that, it seems the misunderstanding has also been resolved. Isn't that wonderful? With the Reda and the Reed, not only... Yeah, they keep up telling me that bridge is fixed, don't they? Um... Yeah, it's just one attack power point, but... It, it's important to have as much attack power as possible, especially if I want to try and take Majin later. I honestly don't think that's going to happen. I barely beat him on uh, normal. I wish I had a thing that cured confusion and slow without me having to give my Emma hammer. Oh, I might. I have to give up attack power though, and. It's curse. Um. So no, I don't have a confusion cure. Black one. I guess we can see if we can win this fight here. Um that but whatever ah. um Took out one of them.
poisoned by being hit by a bull, of all things. That's just ridiculous. Check against confusing confusion. Yeah, it does. Um, I guess sometimes I could technically do it to where I can train back here against the um charging bulls, but it might be easier just to. Um, with that. Um <coughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get strong enough to take on the um B yet though. I really need that item. Because without the bell I can't kill any of the super strong enemies in there. Yeah, there's a capital of water I can pick up on the beach too while we're over here. Um, I guess I'm not going to be doing too much of a substantive update today. Oh well. Well, that means over the course of the, um, week I can find some time to work on my leveling on this game. Um, there it is. Um, pretty sure there's no other paths or anything around here, so. Back to more or more yeah, and get um talk to Isha for a bit. <coughs> Sorry, I'm probably gonna be looking at a lot of hours of grinding um on my own time, but it's gonna be a pain. Um, if you put on can't get slow and the defense belt at the same time, you actually can get um the defense buff without the loss in speed. So it, it's an option to consider. Maybe. Um not not a serious one, obviously, because it's not enough of a defense boost to really warrant giving up two equip slots. At least that's what I were here. Um.
Hey, Adolf. You're looking well today. Liav and I are old friends. I was already here to see Master Basla, so I decided to stop by. Oh yes, Isha came with me today too. She should be over at Professor Raba's place. Why don't you go catch up with her? She seemed pretty eager to see you again. Isha should be over at Okay. Kuval should have no reason to come here anymore. The festival is approaching. He ought to be busy and need not worry about me. The frozen kills off. Um. We was waving our arms a bunch while fixing the bridge, trying to keep. Damn! Never expected I'd be working with them guys. <laughs> Just ain't getting my head around it, you know. But you know, now I'm thinking they ain't the guys who wrecked the bridge. I'm back from fixing the suspension bridge. You know, there are many stout men among the Reda tribe. <laughs> want to fight one of them if I didn't have to. Lloyd was saying they needed more helpers for the bridge, so I volunteered. We always hear things about them, but the Redden people I was working with couldn't have been nicer. We're different, sure, but that doesn't mean we can't get along. True, um... Mister, you're back! <laughs> Surprised to see Isha here? She said she tagged along with Kuval on his errand. You know, the bridge has finally been fixed. I've always wanted to see the town, at least once. So I thought this would be the perfect chance for me to tell Ur about the festival. <laughs> you can make all the excuses you want. But I know the real reason you came here was to see him, wasn't it? <laughs> Boy, you sure have changed. Back when we were little, all you did was follow Olha around. And now look at you, coming all the way here just to see him. Well, what are you talking about? Uh, you can be so rude, you know that? Uh, you should know better than to tease her. Oh, good grief. You'll never learn to grow up at this rate. Uh, Perhaps we should have a little talk with Chief Ord. No, no, anything but that. If Dad found out, he'd kill me. Oh yeah, I promised to hang out with Peace. Later, mister. Make yourself at home. The Eresian town. It's so different from what I'd imagined. All the homes are made of stone. Well, except for Liav's and the professor's. Gee. I don't know how Ur can stand it. What about you? Which do you like better? Really? <laughs> it seems your desire for adventure is stronger than ever. If you have any questions, I will be glad to share my knowledge with you. <laughs> Having the bridge repaired is, is quite a relief. Seeing the Red and Elysians quarrel over something so petty was truly ridiculous. It seems both Chief Ord and Aslam realize that. That girl has... Why don't you stay here a bit? Oh, that reminds me. I saw something a little odd when we were crossing the bridge. A strange piece of wood drifted off towards the open sea. It disappeared behind the island. When I saw that piece of wood, I saw an image of your face. I wonder why. When I saw that piece of wood... Well, that just tells me I gotta get through the Lime Water Cave in order to finish this. The problem is, I'm not strong enough yet. Uh, oh, man. There's a fight out here, baby. Um. No. So, 
you're an adventurer, huh? Is it true you've traveled all over the world? Even before you came here, the prof would tell me all sorts of stories. Someday, I want to be like you and cross the Great Vortex. I want to go explore the world, too. I washed ashore here when I was still a baby. I was taken in by my father here. So everything that comes from the outside is new to me. I want to see Aresia, where my dad's from. I can't help but yearn for the outside world. I can really relate to how Ur feels. You can, you can't, I think, there. Um, at least Ur understands his world. He doesn't have anything, doesn't really know anything about Aresia outside what the professor tells him. Um, I've heard that lovely Lady Sophia is the daughter of a Roman nobleman. Hmm. She gives off a rather calm, comforting aura, does she not? Oh, she just exchanged a passionate smile with the great Amelia as she passed by, you know? I was ever so exhausted from working on the bridge, but the lady has put a bit of a spring in my step. <sighs> a bevy of hard shelled beef. However, however, when we lent it to her, what are we to do? I just do her twice there. Um. I came across a rather strange talisman when I was cleaning Master's room the other day. It's apparently a divine charm passed down in his home country. He was bragging that the talisman was the reason he survived being sucked into the Great Vortex. Well, if you can breathe underwater, then yeah. I'm pretty sure it'll allow you to survive being sucked into water by the Great Vortex, which is probably why he survived. Um, I don't imagine any other reason why he could have survived. Um, oh man, if only this were my homeland, the Roman Empire, I could make a new start. Just my luck to wind up on some island with crazy tail things and ruthless Altago merchants. I've hit rock bottom. So, I hear the bridge to Quatira has been fixed. I saw some rudden messengers over by Sir Boslem's place. One of them was a handsome young man, but there was also a little girl tagging along. She looked awfully nervous. Wonder what was on her mind. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Tisa's not around. Wonder where she's gone off to. Oh yeah, that... He's drawing off with her. Well, well. And Emilus Tabula. What an intriguing ancient relic. Hmm, could this indeed be? Yes. This may be the light destined to shred the perpetual darkness. Oh, sorry. Forgive my mumbling. Adol, I am quite skilled in my knowledge of forgotten tongues. Might you allow me to read these writings to you? It would indeed be of benefit to both our futures. Um... Maybe another time when I have all of them so I actually can get something out of it. But I think this is where I'll end the episode. Until next week, see ya.